Hi, I'm Dr. Al Plechner. Hi, Dr. Plechner. Can we talk a little bit about cancer? Yeah, cancer cancer is uncontrolled tissue growth, uh, and it can occur in any tissue in the body. Uh, and where it uh, basically occurs is usually uh, how they name the cancer. For example, if it's a, and there are different types of cancer, but if it's in the breast, they often call it a mammary tumor, mammary carcinoma. Uh, if it's in the blood, it can be lymphoma, leukemia. Uh, and basically what I found in all of the patients I've ever tested that have any forms of these cancers, they all have elevated estrogen, which comes from the adrenal cortex, which nobody is measuring. And it's very simple to do. Uh, and it's realized that you can take a Petri dish with normal tissue and drop estrogen on it, and it definitely will grow. Uh, and there, it's interesting because there are a lot of uh, medical substitutes and substances used to try to block estrogen and try to bind estrogen and try to get it out of the body. But the interesting thing is, why not go directly to the estrogen that's causing the cancer, period. And this can be done with a simple blood test. And all cancer patients will have an elevated estrogen, total estrogen. And it has little to do with their ovarian estrogen. Uh, again, why do you see this in postmenopausal women? Uh, I actually had an opportunity at the Broda Barnes MD Research Foundation to analyze six older women that were postmenopausal that had high androgen, male hormone, that all had breast cancer. Nobody had measured the total estrogen, which accompanies the androgen. So cancer in itself is uncontrolled tissue growth. Uh, it comes from, can be environmental estrogen, it can be foods you're eating, it can be plant estrogens called phytoestrogens, your chemicals are called xenoestrogens. Uh, the environment can certainly add to all the cancer we're seeing, but go. why not go to the basic uh, patient and see what the production of estrogen is and go from there. So as far as I'm concerned, any patient that's got autoimmune diseases, cancer, allergies, what have you, you need to insist on having a total estrogen done, period. I think you'll be surprised, and I think your healthcare professional will be very surprised with the results that you will get. And, um, you know, we keep hearing about estrogen. What is estrogen? Estrogen is a hormone that's produced uh, in some of the tissues of the body, mainly the ovaries uh, and the adrenal cortex. And everybody's concerned about estrogen, but yet the estrogen is not being measured from the adrenal cortex. It's not being included. The males, as we mentioned, uh, they do only estradiol. In females, they do estradiol, estrone, and estriol. They don't do total estrogen. Two recent uh, human patients I had the opportunity of being involved with through their MD had prostate cancer, uh, and they all had normal est estradiol. And when I had the physician do the total estrogen, uh, a normal uh, estrogen in a male should be 80 to 115, and they were both over 580. So... Even, I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. Why not? You know, check estrogen because estrogen can be very helpful in the normal amounts, but when it's in an excess production, whether it comes from the adrenal gland or, like I say, from plants or from chemicals, everybody's concerned about it because it is causing all these various reactions in cancers, etc. However, nobody is measuring total estrogen.